update update <sighs> update so guys it's gonna be a little bit of a more personal video um maybe some of you can relate hopefully not however uh i want to tell you a little bit of a story so back i want to say it's probably like six to seven years ago now i went to an event in tennessee just to do some charity work right and so essentially what had happened was i was pretty sick uh i was really congested i felt like i was like ultra ultra congested it was pretty damn bad and so what had happened was is that upon taking the flight I, due to my congestion and of course the cabin pressure of the airplane and just being up that high in terms of elevation, my entire right ear shut, closed completely. Couldn't hear anything. And so I was panicking on the flight, you know, and I was trying to do the normal procedures to pop your ear as you would normally when you're dealing with elevation, but the ear would not pop, the ear would not open. So getting off the flight, I wanna say for at least a week, two weeks, I could not hear out of my right it was really bad uh it was uncomfortable it was a sensation i hope to never feel again and i think because of like the whole i think panic that came with that i think i experienced some level of i want to say mm, maybe PS ptsd i don't want to diagnose myself but oh my cat's jumped on me say hi guys i don't want to diagnose myself but yeah that's pretty much essentially what had happened so basically fast forward now and since the entirety of smash 4 till now uh i've had a very hard time with flights before it used to be being afraid of flying because being afraid of flying and just being afraid of being that high up in a sense but now it has less to do with that and more so will my ear close ever again or something like that because when i had you know went to the doctor for it they basically told me I had a nasty ear infection from that and that you should never fly when congested. And I wish I knew that when I was, you know, younger, but here we are now. And basically, uh, something weird happened this time. I wasn't congested getting off of my flight home. Instead, my ear didn't close, but it, you know, I had a crackle. It was popping and stuff. And I feel like maybe it was because of the elevation on the way to the airport because i was going through mountains and shit to get to this airport then to get on a plane flight one get on to another flight land in la then go through like the hills and mountains of la and shit so i think it was like all that increased elevation going up and down up and down that kind of messed my ear up regardless uh what now stands in my way is that i actually sadly will be missing my trip to japan because of this because i can't get on the flight with my ear muffled and what sucks is that i went to the doctor the first time and they told me my ear wasn't infected it wasn't irritated i'm gonna be fine right but uh it still was messing up you know it wasn't shut closed but there is noticeable irritability and of course the cracking and the popping of the ear and stuff like that and even now when i swallow i still feel it right but i'm on medication now because i had to go to the doctor again pay again and then pay for medicine again to try and solve this issue and what sucks is that i don't necessarily it just sucks like to be quite blunt and frank it sucks i've been dealing with this for a long time this whole station tube disorder it's like the part of your middle ear right and uh not found any fixes to it haven't found a doctor that's been able to solve it or give a more permanent solution honestly when i fly a lot of the time it's difficult because uh i don't know depending on how it goes i am more prone to ear infections now like before when i would get a cold or sick or anything my ears wouldn't get clogged it, i would just get sick you know you get all the other forms of congestion and all the nastiness that comes with getting a cold or the flu or some shit but now i like auto get ear infections it is the worst thing possible like actually and so just the discomfort and i think uh i felt like off balance i felt discomfort you know not being able to hear is a big no-no but where am i going with this i i guess i just want to say like it kind of just fucked up my holiday plans uh especially my plans with going there to uh you know actually because multiverse is in it isn't in asia i thought it'd be cool to like play out there and stuff local mode blah 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 you know seeing people's opinions on the game and stuff like that 
make Smash content, make just general IRL content, but all of that seems to have come to a pause. Uh, the only silver lining is I did get to change all my stuff with a cost, sadly. So now I ended up having to pay even more money to go ahead and get this trip popping. So the new date is in later in January, come back late February. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of existing reservations and stuff that are changed. And again, just the monetary value of everything that was lost just really blows. And overall, I'm just pretty depressed because I was looking forward to the trip. Uh, it's really hard to make me like genuinely sad or genuinely upset, but I feel like this has been a persistent health problem so long that uh, it's really getting to me. And like, I've missed other trips because of this. I missed a trip to Hawaii for one. I've missed plenty of trips due to this in my time and with no answer or permanent solution or long time solution. It's just been pretty, I want to say, genuinely upsetting, but uh, yeah. So all in all, if you ever see me miss something, it's probably because I got sick. And if I got sick, that means I can't fly. However, if as long as I'm of good health, I can go. But this time around, this is the first time where, you know, I'm not congested. I'm not sick or anything. So I just don't know why my station to malfunction. But uh, I'm on antibiotics and a steroid to, you know, get it back to normal. Uh, yeah. It sucks. It sucks that every time I have an event coming up or a flight or I have to travel, I have to turn into like a germaphobe pretty much and just like watch out for germs no matter what. Like it's it's so bad that sometimes I don't even leave my room or the house in anticipation for a flight. And I'm sharing this because if there's anybody else out there suffering from this or dealing with this or feels the same way, just know you're not alone. And of course, if you have any advice or anything that you would like to give, if you got to the end of this video, it would be greatly appreciated because I genuinely don't know what to do. I'm just really sad. I'm gonna be alone for Christmas. I can't even go anywhere. It sucks. It's really depressing. Uh, bye guys.